here in Melbourne. It's been a beautiful day. Temperatures still beyond the mid-20s. Nice crowd, nice atmosphere. We've got it. As the sudden death stage continues, after Stay the ball falling off the mound. And Gareth Witter playing back at fullback again today as he did against France last week. Let's go. England against Papua New Guinea and the Kummels to get the footy first. James Graham quickly up there in defence and defensively he's been outstanding in this tournament. Can the Kummels establish some dominance up the middle? That's Luke Page. Sam Burgess with his arms wrapped around him. They can cross their own 30 metre line. Boaz. Opening 11 and a half minutes. And we saw on that kick chase recently from the PNG Kummels. It took a long time for the English to get back, but they've taken the quick tap. They're going to trust One, their instincts. Move, Luke! Hold, hold Only 12 metres out. Gale. The defence just up in their face. They nearly fought Two, triangle. There's nowhere one. to go. Sam Burgess. Move, so three. close. Hold. Midway through the tackle count. We just got a bit of a shove there. And another penalty goes to England. Josh Hodgson just saying this has calmed down a bit. Now Sam Burgess takes the tap. Bateman. So yet another set of six on the Cobbles goal line. Can they keep holding on? Hodgson to Gale. Quickly out the back. A Lachlan to Widdop to Watkins to McGilvery. Open the scoring, Jermaine McGilvery, his fifth try of the 2017 World Cup. Beautiful slick move to the right, and England score to take a 4 0 lead over PNG. You're just too much pressure down this end, but that, the Kummels, they had five defenders, defenders on the short side. They're too many defenders compared to the attackers, and when you have that overlap, he gets an early ball, McGilvery will score that every time. England 4, PNG 0. Now it's Gareth Widdop. Shooting at only 62% in this World Cup. Tough one to start with. No good. So it's England in front of PNG after 13 and a half minutes. Four points to nil. Eight on. Nowhere to go up the middle. Sigiaro, Page. They're ready for him that time. You can see the goal line, last tackle for the Kummels. They come right, Sigiaro. Not a great kick, dived on easily by England. And Hill, the big front rower, comes up with it for the uh, team that's in front, four points to nil. Back over their own 20, England. Hall. Try scoring machine for England on board. Great tackle by Meninga, but it's another penalty. Markers weren't square on, and a penalty goes to England again. Yeah, they're losing the ruck. We're just awaiting Same news off. on his HIA. In fact, let's check in. Ryan Girdler, what have you got for us? Yeah, it's not good news, boys. He won't be back today, so the skipper for PNG will working. not take part um, in this game this afternoon. Well, a massive blow for the Kummels. David Mead not coming back. He went off in the second hold, minute hold as his head collected the shoulder of Luke Gale trying to make the tackle. Hill. Two, move. Graham. Gale. Delayed the pass. Offside to Graham. England looking menacing. Only halfway through the tackle count. Lachlan, Brown, this is trouble, Widdop to Watkins, oh what a pass, McGilvery, over in the corner for England, they get their second try, brilliant passing, and Jermaine McGilvery gets his second try of the day, his sixth of the 2017 World Cup, England up by eight. Well it's their go-to side isn't it, for England with McGilvery, and why wouldn't it be, but you just see here the, the Kummels, they don't get off their trial line all that much, it's only about four or five metres, and that allows you to be on your heels, and it's a great flick pass there out to the man to score his double for the afternoon. England 8, PNG nil.
Missed it again, Gareth with it. Across the face of goal. So two unconverted tries. Oh! Amin. He came on for David Whoa. Mead. See there, Tom Burgess on for his first hit out. Minoga. Ohio. Good offload away there to Griffin. Two shots! Ooh, wins a penalty in a sloppy play of the ball, Rod Griffin. Back to back Rob. sets for the Kummels. And you can see what happens when there's an offload second phase play. And it was Willie Minoga that created that first one. Everyone just gets on board, and that's a great shot there on Albert. Tom Burgess making his presence filled early. There's Griffin. Ten metres out from the English goal line. Set to the right. Arso Boas beats the first. Oh, intercept! Look out! England looking for their third try through. Gale beat the first. Can't beat Olam. And he's a monster to the turf after all of that. But England in a great position here. Kevin Brown. Bang! Our man came in on him. Players rush in. They had 179. England had 91. But it's England dominated. Here's Alex Wormsley. Avery Morley's favourite. Oh, Averaging James, a line break every five minutes. The Commons. Tom Burgess. Oh, Not today oh, yet. Oh. You can see the pace. Gale, Burgess, Sam. Aggressive defence. Last tackle, England. Did he lose control? There he did. Knock on against Sam Burgess. Six drop ball from England, and it's keeping the Kummels in the game. With a bigger man like Wormsley coming through the middle. They keep showing up. And they jag something. The half hour mark. Great speed here, coming from low. Two, two. Where? Watching Segiaro make that break. Martin. Tom Burgess. Ensuring he can go no further than the 20 metre line. Albert. Attacking position here for the Kummels, looking for their first try of the day. Arce Boas. Watson Boas. Otio. Great defence out wide. Last tackle for the Kummels. Good hands by Witter. It was left with the second rower, Willie Minogga. And Gareth Witter was there to swoop on the ball for England again. They've just lost their way, Surrender! especially down in that that 10 metre zone attacking the trial and they've lost their way on the last tackle options it's twice now where well, they haven't come up with a result but it was a gorgeous offload by by the Olam the sec the, uh, the winger I should say onto oh, Segiara and that's the what they've got to rely on they've got to rely on those offloads those second phase plays strong run by Tom Burgess last tackle though for England clearing kick by Gale lowers back there Oh, he's lost the ball. Danger time. Wormsley drops it as well. It's like a cake of soap. And that is a costly drop from Gary Lowe. Out. Let's go. Ball set to the left. Sam Burgess. Bullock in run. And the Kummels possibly defend their own line again. That's Kurt Baptiste. Wormsley. He might have got there, Alex Wormsley. The big front rower. Adrian Morley's favourite thinks he scored. Have a try. Just checking ground in, please. See the ball there, Benny? Can't see it yet. There it is. Got the ball in possession. Okay, it's got to the line there. You got something from head on, mate? A little bit quicker for us. Yeah, something from that other corner, perhaps. So there are our best angles, Alex. You go back to the first one, mate. We'll make a call on that. 
You can see he's in possession here. And ball gets to the line. Just follow it through so we can see the ball again. There it is there. OK, got a decision going to the board. England gets it third and lead PNG 12-0. Pink the conversion and England up to a 14 points to nil lead. And you have to address that really early on. And from accounts, all accounts, David Mead has been outstanding with that. Another lost ball. Hooker first. Heads in. Ball. Out. They kick early. Otio flying through. Otio and Winnip. A bit of a shove out of the way. Otio gets there. What a try to PNG, but there might have been a shove on Winnip. Time off with no tackle. Well, no try. We're taking for a push and grounding, please. Okay, so on the boot there, chase is good on the outside and follow through from there. So just slow it down here, slow it down here. Yep. I'm not liking that first angle. You can show me another one, mate, that'd be great. Okay, nice and slow here. Okay. Something from the back's better, mate, if you've got something closer. But Okay, so he can go shoulder to shoulder here, but he can't push in the way that he does there. So, okay, that's as far as we need to go, mate. We've got a decision. PNG pay the price for the audio push on Gareth Winner. Just possibly put the ball on the touching goal line anyway. Stargroth Armin. Kick and chase coming from the English halfback. I know they've just got to worry about getting up and get to their kicks at the moment, just getting up the field initially. But what I want to see the Cummels do when they get up into that attacking area, two really big, long, flat passes, get the defence to chase them through their speed and turn players under, back against the defence. I think they'll get some rewards. Luke Page back on the field. He was their best runner of the footy in the first half. Seguiaro, nice to late pass to Odio. Watson awaits. Nice tackle for Watson. Boas coming through Armin. Ran into the big figure of Graham. And Ryan Hall for England. They won't want to let him go. Beats one. Beats two easily. Beats McDonald. The support comes in Bateman. And great run from Ryan Hall to set all of that up. PNG slow to get back on side. Roby to Widdop. The kick for Curry. It sits up on his chest and England will score. Ben Curry has only been on the field for five minutes and he's able to score beautifully read by Gareth Widdop. Try will be rewarded or awarded to England. England is rewarded and they lead 18 points to nil. Well, they've just taught a lesson to the Kummels and what happens if you make a break down one side of the field come straight back that way to the lazy defenders but what about the beautiful foresight of Widdop to put the ball on a chain and Curry the presence of mind to stand on that on that edge to score that try England now leading PNG 18-0 With it, two out of four. England leading Papua New Guinea 20 points to nil in this quarterfinal. Hodgson looming there. It looks like he was off for a dinner for two there. It looked like a certain try for England. PNG. Oh! Baptiste. Not a great pass. Good hand, Seguiara. Quick hands by Watson Boas. Eight on. Monoga, what a pass to one of Gary Lowe, the do score PNG. Gary Lowe finishes it off. The Cobbles are in. Is this game back on? England lead by 16 with a kick to come. When you invite them into your half, there's nothing really happening here. When the ball gets in Willie Monoga's hands, there's an opportunity from Aton to turn it underneath the Monoga, but Monoga just backs, his, backs himself and it's just McGilvray just gets off his wing and opens up the space. England 20, PNG on the board 4. 
Reese Martin for the Kummels. What a strike! 20 points to six now. Another outstanding performance, what? and England right on top in that department. I'd kick early if I was the Kummels. I'd kick early in the tackle count and try and turn this field position around in their favour, inch by inch. A Lachlan new page was coming for him. Kick now and turn them around. Eight on again. Watson Boas appears okay, by the way, for PNG. Martin. Last tackle, Kummels. End of English territory. It's for Seguiaro. Great direction on the kick, straight to Whittup. Paul to McGilvery. Someone's got to put him down. No, they don't. He's over the 40s away again. Past Armin. Links up with Callum Watkins. From behind McDonald. Misses him. Watkins goes all the way to score. And does that seal the berth for England in the World Cup semi finals against Tonga? Callum Watkins the try. They're out by eight. Early transfer of the ball to Whittam. It's a smart play also from his opposite winger in Hall as well. He's got spiders on him. He gets in between defenders, just uses great strength. But the way that he sizes up the situation also, he doesn't overcook it. He gives the ball to the fresh Callum Watkins, and then it's just a foot race between him and McDonald. England lead 24 to 6. <laughs> 20 point lead for England. They lead Papua New Guinea 26 points to 6. So great moment of field position for PNG but we're into the last 10 minutes and they're down by 20. Griffin. 11 metres out. They need a miracle here the Kummels. Watson Boas. To his brother Arce. Brilliant try for PNG. England's claiming there was a forward pass in there. We are going to go to the video referee. Tackle one. Got a try. Just checking for any obstruction. Passes two wide passes. Get the defence chasing you, and then bring a good speed player like Monoga back on the angle. Okay, lead runners coming through there. On the 16, he comes back in that hole, doesn't he? Just try that one one more time, mate, please. comes back in there, contacts the slide on the outside shoulder, and he comes back through that same hole. Yeah, so we've got decision, guys. We're going to the board. They are denied. England maintains a 20-point lead here with nine and a half minutes left, especially with nine minutes to go. I thought Lebanon would deny a, a try in their game yesterday under the same ruling, but based on the interpretations, it was the right call. Assuming England going to win this over the next nine minutes, Tonga awaits in New Zealand next Saturday. Good tackle, Baptiste. Roby, O'Loughlin, Gale, Curry running on the inside. Only 12 metres out. They've been dangerous to the right all day. That's the way they come. Hodgson kicking for McGilvery, looking for a third. Backing up Watkins, he gets his second. Leaps through the air like a Cape Crusader. And another try for England. We'll go to the video ref. Right. Checking touch, please. We have got a challenge in the air if it's in touch. Just gets into this little Someone space. The boot here. All the chasers outside are onside. We can continue through. A clean catch. We do have contact in the air there, so we'll play through. Okay, something tight on that. Watching feet, Benny. I'll watch grounding. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Okay, have you got something just from the corner? Yep, this is a better shot for us. Nice and slow here. Feet are still in the air there, Benny. 
I've got the ball down. Okay. Good decision, guys. Go to the board. And it's now England 30, PNG 6. Just across the face from Gareth Widdop. But England, four converted try lead. With of course, the uh, the PNG fans that have travelled also down from Port Moresby and also the, the fans that are here local. So he, doesn't, he doesn't care about the score. <laughs> He's happy. Hodgson, they work it left to Gale. Widdop, pass Minogga. Hall, oh, he'll be tucked to spot. Uh, to stop, and he can't be. Ryan Hall has a phenomenal try scoring success rate for England. They score a seventh inside the last two minutes to extend their lead. Ryan Hall finally gets one on the left corner. And unfortunately, Willie Minogga is out here in the centres after Nene McDonald goes. It just it's a stop start there from Gareth Widdop that puts the back rower in two minds. Attempt into the sun. He's had this putt before. How does he read the green? Reads it beautifully. He's kicked his last four, Gareth Widdop. And now a 30 point lead here for England. End of the last 30 seconds. Last play of the game, and it's with Wormsley. Oh, thought he was going to the kick and chase. England, congratulations to Wayne Bennett and the English team. They've beaten Papua New Guinea rather convincingly in the end, scoring seven tries to one as England defeats Papua New Guinea here in Melbourne, 36 points to six.